Twins Grace and Callie Green, conceived with the help of modern infertility treatments, their mother, Eliz. Three lives saved because of state-of-the-art technology and a medical team that happened to be in place. It was a difficult pregnancy. Contractions started early. Bed rest and medications were prescribed. By her sixth month, this room at St. Joseph's Hospital in Milwaukee became her home but I was willing to do anything. If I had to hang upside down by my toes, I would have, um, to make sure that the babies were born healthy. Then the critical day, November 12, 2000. It started off as a regular day, but suddenly... I was in real pain, and I knew that there was something wrong. I could point to a spot, I mean, it was right here, that hurt. Um, and then there was like radiating pain from there. Her perinatologist, Dr. Margaret Carr, happened to be at the nurse's station. A day doesn't go by when I don't have someone complaining of heartburn, even chest pain. She soon determined this was different, something very serious. All of a sudden she put her eyes back and she became unconscious and she had no pulse. Eliz was in cardiac arrest. Specialists who happened to be in the hospital on call were brought in. CPR started. You could say that she was dead for several minutes. The babies were dying. Their movements had stopped. We didn't know if we were going to resuscitate her quickly enough or should we deliver the babies. Doctors took a chance and shocked Eliz's heart. She opened up her eyes and said, Eliz, something just happened. Your heart stopped. We don't know if you had a clot to the lung or if you had a heart attack. And she just nodded her head like, okay, something happened, just take care of me. Eliz was taken to the cardiac catheterization lab, where staff were standing by due to a last-minute cancellation. She had a spontaneous tear of an artery in the front of her heart, and we knew that the only thing that was really appropriate was open heart surgery. Specifically, bypass surgery. Can we do this on somebody who's carrying babies? And the answer is, you could. It's been done in the past. But was it really necessary to put the babies through this? And the answer was no. First, the twins were del delivered by C-section. The babies came out kicking and screaming, and as you know, they are beautiful. The bypass operation began. Within 15 minutes after I closed, they were opening up her chest. Eliz wasn't out of the woods yet. Could she endure the rigors of having her heart stopped and being put on a heart-lung machine during the surgery? Doctors thought it would be dangerous. They had a new high-tech alternative. While the heart continues beating, a device is used to stabilize just the part of the heart being worked on. 17 hours after her heart surgery, Eliz met her daughters for the first time in the neonatal intensive care unit. The best thing was when he came to tell me that we had girls. It was the first time that um, I saw him after surgery. And he was glowing. See, now I'm going to do it. Um, he just, you have never seen anybody more in love with his daughters. It was just, he was so proud and he was so happy that I was okay. The beating heart surgery may have contributed to Eliza's relatively short and uncomplicated recovery. Considering her years of infertility treatment, a high-risk pregnancy, bed rest, a heart attack, C-section, and then open-heart surgery. Doctors say Eliza's condition is uncommon, that she survived it, rare. With a little bit of help from God, I think we have, you know, modern technology on our side. Is motherhood all that Eliz Green hoped it would be? Even on the bad days, when they cry for three hours, and I don't really know why, <laughs> it's still a great day. And I am so grateful and so blessed to have these girls and to have my husband and to have a family that we worked for and hoped for for so long. And here they are. I was able, 17 hours after I was done with surgery, to get in a wheelchair, leave the ICU, and go to the NICU to visit my girls for the first time. I started parenting my girls 17 hours after my open heart surgery. That wouldn't have been possible without the technology of beating heart.